is in the building. Yes, he is. He's in the building. I'll never watch. I've asked Elvis. My uh -huh. goodness, how nice to see you. Have a nice to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> are you well, Elvis? I'm splendid, well, thank you very much, dear. Yeah, you look great, and you. You, here you are in your full looks Las like Vegas fantastic. gear. Fantastic. Absolutely. It's Las Vegas Elvis today. He's look. definitely Las very Vegas much. Elvis today, yeah. Uh, we're going to go to some phoners, got lots of questions for you. Uh, do you want to start with Stuart Green, then? Yes, I will. Would? Stuart Green has sent this question from Shrewsbury in Shropshire, says, Dear Elvis, uh -huh. why do I now get the same text message five times from everybody? Hmm. Is it an epidemic, Elvis, or is it a conspiracy by the mobile phone companies? Oh, it's entirely possible that there's some kind of bug in the system at the moment, it is all sometimes possible that maybe your friends are a little overzealous and just kind of keep pressing the same button because he ain't sure it's gone. And I don't know if that's gone. I'm going to send it again. And I've had that happen to me. And I've done it on a number of occasions. So, uh, it's not good, is it, Elvis? No, no, it just could be a case of your friends being a bunch of Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> can you spell zealous, by the way? I can indeed. Z E A L O U S. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Over you very well. zealous. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to go to some phoners. Uh, Pete, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. Where are you, Pete? I'm in Dorchester. What's your question for Elvis? He's in the building and waiting for your question. How much are you going to Elvis, uh -huh. I've got tennis elbow. I'm terrible sorry to hear that, please. Uh, yeah, it's in my left elbow, uh -huh. and I'm right-handed, uh -huh. and I hardly ever play tennis. Hmm. And I just wonder what's going on, and what can I do about it? Good question. Well, tennis elbow is kind of a name which has been appended to the particular complaint. It does not necessarily depend upon the sufferer playing tennis. <laughs> uh, this bottle was a prerequisite for suffering tennis elbow. Lateral epicondylitis is a more correct term for tennis elbow. Uh, but let me just ask you, Pete, have you played any tennis at all in the last, say, five to ten years? Because that could I've be the cause. I've played once in about the last two years. What do you think, Elvis? That wouldn't be it, would it? I sure as a doubt. This is kind of a repetitive strain thing. Well, that's an answer for me. That's uh -huh. an awesome answer. Thanks very much. Ice packs and anti-inflammatories, Pete. <laughs> Thank you, Elvis. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh -huh. Here's Tim. This is from John Bertram uh -huh. in Mansfield, Nottinghamshire, yes, who says, Hi, Elvis. Hey, England kick off their defence of the Rugby World Cup against the USA tomorrow. Uh -huh. I'm a bit worried, though, Elvis, that the Americans will cause an upset. Are my fears in any way justified? Well, the <laughs> last 14 out of the last 19 tests, going back to March 2006, they are number seven in the world rankings, despite the fact they are still technically the reigning world champions. So, yeah, England have plenty to worry about. The United States may not be one of these things. Uh, they just lost in Canada, qualifying for the World Cup, got through a two-leg playoff with Uruguay to make it to France. They had one warm-up match against uh, Munster, which is a club in Ireland and not a bunch of TV comedy monsters from the 1960s. It didn't look like they'd uh, cause England many problems, but you never can tell the way England are playing right now. What about Luke Gross? Oh, uh, he's amazing. Six foot nine of them. Didn't he used to be in that band? He did not used to be in that band. You're thinking of Luke Goss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Luke, Luke Gross is a six foot nine rugby player. Uh, uh, yeah. Unless he's been <laughs> changing his diet, I do not believe this is the same man. Have you ever scrummed down and played rugby, Elvis? I've scrummed down, but I've not played rugby. <laughs> <laughs> I he scrummed down very well. Uh, I do indeed. <laughs> and I scrub too. up quite nicely as well. <laughs> uh -huh. Elvis is in the building. You're listening to Ask Elvis. Now, dear King, when I watch the X Factor on TV, I'm always baffled at how they manage to light the big X that they have on the stage. Can you clue me in, Elvis? Oh, it's very technical, but I'll do my best. There's a line down in a designer called Al Gurdon, and he specified 78 James Thomas pixel line battens as part of his Latin rig for that big X over there. And, uh, 32 of the pixel lines are rigged inside the main scenic X set piece hung above the center stage. And the fixtures are behind a diffused polycarbonate covering. And on the floor below, the center X pixel line configuration is mirrored using all the 32 battens, this time set below a frosted perfect floor. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. It tells you everything you need to know about the X and the X factor. Go ahead and build one yourself and let me know how you get on. You're never going to get that anywhere else, are you? You tune uh -huh. to another station, you won't get that kind of thing. You're on Ask Elvis on Steve Wright in the afternoon at BBC Radio 2. We're going to uh -huh. go to another caller. Who's this now? Hello, this is Catherine from Amersham. Uh -huh. Hello, Catherine. You're on Ask Elvis. Ask your question. Elvis is listening. We've got a beautiful new puppy. She's a Labrador set across. I'm very pleased to hear it. Uh -huh. uh, the only trouble with her is every time we take her outside, she eats gravel. Uh -huh, they now, do that. Can you tell us why she does it and maybe give us some hints to stop her doing it? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it too much. Most puppy dogs go out of this habit, but it is a very common habit among puppy dogs. It's a very difficult thing to prevent. Uh, you'll be very unlucky if it causes her any actual problem. If you think she's looking a bit poor and then take it to the vet and make sure you say that uh, this here dog eats stones. Does it come out in the... <laughs> okay. Does it come out in the poop? Yes, it does. In yeah. the other, it 
yes. Yes, it all comes out in the wash. It doesn't do. But, uh, one thing you got to bear in mind, uh, any kind of behavior you do will not wish to encourage in a dog. Just don't reward it with that kind of attention. It's slightly counterintuitive. If a dog wants to do something bad, then you got to chase it around the circle stand it off. But that's the kind of attention it's after. So, uh, generally speaking, if you want a dog to quit doing something that you think is a bad idea, just kind of ignore him. Okay. Thank yeah, you very was, much. Okay, no problem, sir. Thanks, then. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Andrew Rule uh, from Melbourne, Australia, he says, Hi, Elvis. I just heard If You Were a Womble by Katie Melua. I think that's what it's called, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called, yeah. <laughs> Can you please give us your rendition of that song? You know the one. Oh, it's got a kind of tickly, kind of Jolene kind of guitar intro there. And then it's got some really, well, frankly, kind of weird words. Uh, if you were a cowboy, I would tell you. If you were a piece of wood, I'd nail it to the floor. That's horrible. I don't know where she got that from. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a sailboat, I would sell you to the shore. Uh, if you were a squeaky hinge, I would oil you. <laughs> if you were a diaper, I would soil you. And then uh, if, uh, if you were a fencing sword, I would foil you or uh, something else. I don't know. Uh, if, right. if you were a window, I would clean you. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a dirty frying pan, I would scare you with one of those little green cloths. If you were a knife, I would sharpen you and then stick you in the door and forget where I'd put you. Or something like that. I don't know. It's All a very, right. very weird That's song. Right. Elvis is leaving the building. You've been listening to Ask Elvis. There'll be another Ask Elvis in a week or so's time. I'm living a right now.